It's week 58 reserves, so I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 58 of Zer, however, before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered in a Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of November, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Zer is located on IO, and he is by the Giant Scar, so let's go find out what he has. Zer, what's up dude? Wait, hold on. Let me finish my tweet. So like always, we're going to go ahead and start with the left hand side. We have the Crimson, which is the weapon of the week. And it is an exotic hand cannon. Then we have the Dragon Shadow for the Hunter. The Crown of Tempest for the Warlock, as well as Ashen Wake for the Titan. We're going to go ahead and start with the Dragon Shadow. And tragic perk on this is uh, Wrath Metal Mail, which dodge reloads guns and buffs speed and handling. Then we have unflinching bow aim, unflinching fusion rifle aim, unflinching sniper rifle aim, uh, scout rifle reserves, as well as special ammo finder. And this also has an ornament and it's called tie mat. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. Now this is an okay exotic so I'm probably going to give this a 2.5 in PvE and probably a tier 3 in PvP. There are better exotics out there, so I probably wouldn't waste my time with this. Next exotic is the Crown of Tempest. In terms of perk on this is Conduction Teens, which arc ability kills restore arc abilities. Then we have Bow Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On, Shotgun Reserves, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. Now this is definitely a good exotic to use. It is, it's kind of top tier, kind of not. Um, it definitely gets a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP. Uh, but I think personally that there may be better exotics out there for the Warlock. Especially for your uh, art class. Um, I'm thinking of one off the top of my head, I just don't remember it. Um, if you guys do remember what that is, then go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Uh, next exotic is the Ashen Wake for the Titan class. In terms of perk on this is Bring the Heat. And this gives you improved fusion grenades. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Shotgun Scavenger, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. Now, these are an okay exotic in PvP. It's probably better in PvP, uh, PvE. Sorry, I'll say that again. Okay in PvP better in PvE just because you're getting improved fusion grenades. Now, that's it. It's not like it does anything like, oh my god, special, you know? And what this pretty much does is fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. That is all that's improved. It does not give you an extra grenade, so it's kind of like, okay, I guess. Um, it's going to get a 2.5 in PvP <laughs> and probably a tier 2 in PvE. And then we have your consumables, the Five of Swords. If you don't have one, go ahead and grab this for your Nightfall uh, Strikes. And then last but not least, we have your Faded Engram for 97 Legendary Shards. Go ahead and grab these first if you do not have them or if you want the new versions of them, grab them first before popping a Faded Engram because you do have a chance to get these inside the Faded Engram. And unfortunately, the Faded Engram still does not sell Forsaken um, Exotics. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.